That's just so cool. I love screensavers, right? You can have fun with them. I still think there's a glorious place in history for all these screensavers going on. System 47 is probably my favorite of all time. And I'm going to get into running these in the background. I just wanted to show it because, yeah, this is just neat to have going. And, and there's so much that you can go for. I think the developer did like two hours of different graphs and other stuff just with this one. But I really wanted to dive more into the screensaver realm as it's not popular anymore, but it's something that I kind of miss from the olden days. And, and just having like a monitor up with this going in the background. Oh my gosh. Just, just look at it. Omega Quadrant. Ah, I don't know. Something cool about it. So let's dive in because this is just an SCR file in Windows. I also made guides to actually do this in Linux too. So uh, no matter your operating system, you can do it. There is also Mac OS images. Uh, this is from mehu.com, but I'll touch on other ones too. So you can actually look at the Mac OS version. If we go to welcome, you can see that version's up here. So no matter what you're on, got you covered. And there's some other really cool projects by this developer as well. But it doesn't stop there. Obviously, we have this guide. Uh, if you just go to my website, christitis.com forward slash screensavers, I have everything you're about to see in this video listed over there. So if there is one that catches your eye, by all means, go download it. The SCR files you can emulate in Linux as well. So what other fun things can you do with this? Well, there's website screensavers and actually Microsoft has even gotten in the thing. There's a blue, you know, blue, blue BSOD or blue screen of death screensaver that uh, even the official Microsoft.com has here, which is, is pretty cute. Uh, so I thought that was a, a great one. Let's just download and run it. How to download this. Usually they come in zip form. You just show it in the folder. And then I'm just going to extract it all right here. And then it comes in this screensaver format. Now you can test the screensaver just by opening it up and hitting run. Say, okay. And then you get the old school BSOD. This is actually Windows 7. So uh, most people would be like, I don't even know this BSOD anymore. I'm used to like a smiley face. But there's actual official Microsoft screensaver that most people don't know about. It's kind of hidden on recent installs. You can still access it just by going to personalize, let's go lock screen and then screensaver. And you can see all the ones right here. Now, those things that we just showed, the system 47 and the BSOD from Microsoft isn't installed yet. That's okay. We can just come back into our downloads. Let's grab this one. See backspace windows system 32. We should just be able to drop these guys in here. There's the sys internals blue screen. And then let's just grab our system 47 one as well. Let's do that. And let's close this out and relaunch the screensaver. Does it show the new ones? Sure enough, it does. So then if we just wait one minute, hit apply, done, close. Now when uh, our system goes to sleep, ah, <laughs> screensavers are back in 2022. <laughs> But some people are not going to want to do that. And I get it. I mean, that that's fine. We'll just move this to none. Let's say you just want to play a prank on someone when using a screensaver. That's even better. So that's how you install and use them in Windows. If you're looking for the Linux counterpart, I made a little guide on my website, ChrisTitus.com. From here, you can actually see how to set it up in a wine bottle. If you're in Linux, do this. This is a lot of fun. Uh, I just create like a system D service utilizing wine and Elkar system 47 with a little write up and how to create this service. I even have a video if you want to follow that, but let's move on to the more fun stuff, the website screensavers. So this is where you can just say, okay, I want kind of the novelty of screensavers, but I don't necessarily want to install it on my system. This is when you could just come on here and then just do an F11 with your web browser and we're in space. This is the Starfield one, also made by Mihu, which I just love his work. Uh, if you're a Trek fan at all, by all means, it's great. I like I like Star Trek and Star Wars, I know. I'm just a big nerd. But you can also do other fun stuff. This, a gradient colors, you might be thinking, oh, really, gradient? Let's do an F11 on it. Fun part of this one is if I'm checking my green screen, like, oh, I can tell, like right there, I probably should crop that out. But you're probably thinking, if I'm not even here, 
clean your monitor. <laughs> That's like go full screen with that with a gradient, and you will see every single little spec. You're like, oh man, I need to get a wipe right now. <laughs> So that's what I kind of use this one for. It's a, a fun little screensaver website. Uh, you have real slick screensavers. These I think are download and web-based. Yeah, these this is actually a SCR pack. So you can actually go on their website, look through all the RS screensavers. Uh, let's go version two. Obviously it hasn't been touched in a little while, but there's just a massive, uh, great suite of screensavers from really, really slick screensavers. You have the fake BSODs. This is where you prank people, which is fun. Let's go with the Windows 10 and 11 BSOD. And, haha, uh -huh. <laughs> this will freak people out when they come back. So if a, a coworker of yours leaves his computer unattended, just come on over to go to fake update or, or a BSOD website. And a lot of times they'll just look at their computer and go, no. <laughs> That's a fun one. But if you really want to scare the crap out of them, you can do a crypto prank as well. Uh, this one's cryptoprank.com. And what we can do is just go full screen with it. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it so much. You even get like the counting timer and stuff. Uh, it's, it's a good one. And then we also have the fake update, like uh, Windows 11. I think you even have like an old Windows 98 one. Uh, probably Windows Seven is the one that I've seen the most. So this is a this is a fun one too. Uh, run it on like a Windows Ten computer. People will be like, "What in the? No, it's installing Windows 11. <laughs> it's a good one. And there's just a whole bunch more. But I really wanted to make this just a short, sweet video revisiting screensaver, something that I love uh, still till still today. And if you're in Windows, I even made like a little quick copy paste command for whatever reason you can't find it in the settings. This actually launches directly into it using the run command. I like to give run commands for everything in Windows just in case Microsoft switches things up and in the future you can't find screensavers. Guess what? Microsoft really never removes anything from Windows. They just hide it. So if you ever need to get to screensaver settings directly, you can just do a copy of this command and, and launch right into it as well. And that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know your favorite screensaver. What did I miss? down in the comments. I'll look them up. I still love tinkering around and even pranking people with screensavers. It's just a, a fun pastime of mine. So with that, I'll see you in the next one.